Hello dears, today we are going to talk about exclamation point. So before we start, let's watch a funny video together. It's like a song about exclamation point. So let's watch it. What a glorious day for football and exclamations alike. Here are the keys to understanding today's game. An exclamation point is a punctuation that comes at the end of a sentence to show excitement. We now take you down to the field, live, where Spock is waiting with an example. I'm excited to see my team play. Exclamation! That's right. I can see that you're excited because you used an exclamation point. And I'm excited to hear Miss Exclamation sing. Take it away! Hooray! I miss exclamation! A sign of loud communication! I come at the end of your shout as an exclamation! Totally! A period that blew its top Excitement starts and doesn't stop You well may hear us yell But... I can show she wrote, folks. Using the correct punctuation marks, of course. Alright, so after this loud video, I want you to always remember that an exclamation point is used to show, express strong emotions such as anger, love, fear, excitement, and many more. So, when I am writing and I need to show emotions and feelings in the sentence that I am writing, I need to add an exclamation point at the end of the sentence. That will make the reader know or feel the emotion I'm trying to express while writing. Let's look at examples. If I want to show excitement, look at this example. I can't wait to go to Disneyland. So, here I added an exclamation point at the end of the sentence. Why? Because I'm trying to show my excitement a strong feeling or strong emotion. So, I added the exclamation point at the end of the sentence to show that strong excitement. What if I am expressing surprise? Oh! You already bought a new car? Here, I also added an exclamation point. Why? Because I'm surprised. I'm surprised that this person bought a new car. So, I'm showing emotions. I'm expressing my strong emotions in the sentence. So, I add an exclamation point. What if I want to express anger? Look at this example. That new story made me so angry and I add an exclamation point. Why? Because I'm expressing a strong emotion, anger. So I needed to put an exclamation point at the end of the sentence to express my feelings. You can show strong emotions by adding an exclamation point to a statement, but you can't add an exclamation point to a question. What does that mean? A statement, a normal sentence that tells you something, gives you information, and ends with a full stop. If you need to show more emotions, you can simply replace the full stop with an exclamation point. But if I'm asking you a question, can I replace the question mark with an exclamation point? No, I can't. Why? Because I'm asking you a question and I need an answer. So, I'm not showing any emotion or feelings through the question. I'm just asking a question. Alright, look at the first example. I know you can do it. 
This is a statement and it ends with a full stop. Can I show more emotions or even say it with a louder voice by replacing the full stop with an exclamation point? Yes, you can. So from I know you can do it to I know you can do it. I can read it like this because now I see an exclamation point. So I'm showing emotions while saying this sentence. We have let's go and let's go. So the first one, let's go. I'm just saying to a group of friends, let's go. But the second example by using an exclamation point, I can raise my voice. I can say it with more excitement. Let's go. So this is why I add the exclamation point, because it tells the reader that there is emotions here. There is feelings and you can show it by the exclamation point. But if I'm asking you a question, do you like watching movies? I need an answer. Yes or no? Am I showing any emotions here? No, I'm just asking a question. So can I replace the question mark with an exclamation point? No, I can't. I will keep the question mark as it is. Let's look at more examples to understand how we use the exclamation point to express feelings. The first example, I am free. This is like a criminal and he's finally out of jail, so he's super happy. So here I add an exclamation point to express joy. The second example, I treasure you. I treasure you means I love you so much. So here she is expressing love. So we need to add an exclamation point to express such emotion. The third example, she actually won. Here she's surprised. So we add an exclamation point to express surprise. The last example, you are late again. Here she is angry and she is expressing her anger by adding an exclamation point to the end of the sentence. So here we expressed joy, love, surprise, and anger. And we would know or understand the feelings and the emotions by seeing the exclamation point at the end of the sentence. So this is it. This is our grammar lesson. You need to think about the feelings and emotions that we can express by using an exclamation point at the end of a sentence and you need to understand does this sentence have any feelings or emotions if yes then you can add an exclamation point but remember that if you are asking about something and you need an answer you will not add an exclamation point to a question so I hope you enjoyed this sample grammar lesson and I will see you later.